Hey guys, it's me. I'm back as promised, and what do you know? I have the girls set of the X and Y uh, three-part half decks, uh, the beginning set for uh, for girls, as you can tell. With uh, is that Serena on the front? In the uh, the unevolved starters are the new hollows in this one. If you saw the uh, the one previously, it was the uh, fully evolved starters. It was uh, Chestnut and Delphox and Greninja, but this time it's going to be Chespin and Fennekin and Froki. So, I'm excited to dive into those. And yeah, looks pretty much the same on the back. Uh, the color scheme is obviously different because it's pink, but still pretty nice. Uh, this is going to be a uh, faster opening. <clears throat> I'm definitely hoping to get this inside of 10 minutes, but we're going to have to see how it goes. So let's slide these open, and this time I'm going to try not to, you know, throw the cards everywhere if I can help it. So. Alright. Open this up. Now I see it. Yeah. We're not going to go through a lot of what's in here, but I'm going to show it off really quickly. Get the damage counters in here. Uh, anything that's... Oh, and I didn't show the coin from the other one. I forgot about that. Uh, there was a coin, and I didn't show you what it was. So we're going to pop it out of the old one. And we're going to show the boy set coin first. Oh, I forgot that. Now, I'm sure you guys were asking about this, but let's see if we can get a good look at it. It's a very busy coin, but uh, if you can't tell, the boy set coin does have a uh, Froakie and Chespin and Fennekin on it. So we'll have to see what the girls one has. Set that back aside so I don't get it mixed up. Alright, what do we have? It looks like it also has the same ones, but has a different color scheme. Looks more rose colored. Really tough to focus on this. There we go. You can kind of see it. The Froki, and then the Chespin, and then the Fennekin at the top. Looks pretty nice. My floor is a catastrophe right now. Alright, let's open this up. Show you again real quickly the contents in case you decide that you're interested in purchasing it. It's kind of a nightmare to get from uh, Amiyami. For some reason, they uh, they were having trouble with their supplier, and they just couldn't pick these up. So, uh, looks like you got the same little envelope, maybe for holding the damage counters. This uh, question and answer thing, questions about the cards, maybe about anything new, or just basic questions. Uh, looks like the same X and Y manual we saw last time, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Can't read it anyways. Another copy of the DVD, and I will keep this sealed for anybody that wants it. Oh boy, this one's going to be fun. This is a girls' section playmat. Oh, nice. It's got different, uh, different mon on there. We've got Chespin. Uh, that's really bent. Chespin and Furfrau there. And then we've got Froki here, and Fennekin there. That's nice. And it's got the regular green mat that most people are familiar with. That's on the back, but I'm not going to show that. These things are ridiculously sized, so I'm not going to fight too hard with them. I do want to get it folded up again. Yeah, that's done. And again, another leaflet pamphlet thingy for Pokemon X Collection and Y Collection, which are due out in Japan on Friday. So we'll clean up the mess, show the old cards quickly, and the new cards with a little bit more love. I'm going to do the same thing as before. We're going to do the grass first, and then the fire deck, and then the water deck. Alrighty, first card is the Chespin. Love that hollow effect. This one's definitely going to supersede the non-hollow Chespin, although I think I will still keep one for my collection. Really nice. Alright, let's buzz. We have Weedle, Pansage, another Chespin, uh, two Quilladin, and the non-hollow Chestnut. So yeah, I'll definitely be keeping the non-hollow versions as well. 
uh, Snubble and Granbull, the new fairy type. Uh, Swirlix. Uh, Miltank was not in the last one, so that's probably the counterpart to Snorlax, which I believe was in the first deck. Uh, there's another Bunnelby. Uh, Potion. Switch. Pokeball. Pokeball. Uh, Tierno, the new supporter, which is the same as Sharon. And then again, Grass Energy and the Fairy Energy. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully I can uh, pick out the two new cards from uh, the remaining half decks as I go, but we'll see. Ease that off of there. Alright, and here's the hollow version, the Fennekin. That is awesome too. Very nice. I really do like that hollow effect too. Hopefully they decide to use it for promos, or maybe they'll use the shard hollows for promos. I'm not sure what they'll do. So again, most of these will be um, repeats from the previous video. We have Slugma, uh, Panseer, uh, Fennekin, Two Brakeson, and the non-hollow Delphox. Another look at that. Uh, Poochiena, a couple of those, and Mightyena. Uh, there's another Inkay, uh, Fletchling. And there's the uh, the girls' version of Furfrow. Obviously a different look. And then the trainer's a switch. That awesome looking new catcher. I'm over the moon about that card. Uh, a couple of Pokeballs, another Tierno, some fire energies, and some darkness energies. Cool. Slide all that back. I'll be sorting that out once this video is done. Although I did get something in the mail, so I'll probably shoot that video this afternoon, too. It's some new cards, you're going to have to wait and see. And there is the Hollow Froki. Very cool. I like how the border lines up with the Hollow effect in the actual holographic picture of the card. I think that's a really nice touch. Good stuff. And to the cards again, we have Panpour, Froki, two Frogadier, the non hollow Greninja, which uh, I will be keeping the non hollow version so those won't be up for trade. Uh, there's the Clonger from before, uh, the two Ponyard, and there should be one Bisharp. Nice, there is. Uh, there's another Hone Edge, that's cool. Uh, Farfetched. Uh, Skitty. Skitty we did not see in the previous one, so that one is new too. Always looking so happy. Uh, another Crushing Hammer, another Switch, two more Pokeballs, and a Tierno, and then again the Water Energies, and the Metal Energies. So that is awesome. Nice to keep that video time down a little bit. Certainly going to knock down the amount of time that I'm going to need to convert this when I uh, convert it for YouTube uploading purposes. So one final show of the uh, the unevolved hollow starters from the X and Y beginning set for girls. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't subscribed, come on, dude, check this out. Uh, again, I haven't decided whether I'm going to collect X and Y. I may just wait it out, see what the sets look like, see how they're pulling, and decide from there. But I've got a lot of Japanese third gen to collect. So if you did collect Japanese third gen especially EXs or even Gold Stars, hit me up. And I'm starting to look for the uh, black and white shinies as well, too. So be sure to, che you know, to check out my wants list, have a look at that, and let me know if you find anything that you have. Because um, I'd be more than willing to trade for it or even buy it. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.